Justin Timberlake and something we did not know about the night of his DWI arrest out on Long Island. After the stop, who came, I guess you would say, came to his rescue or attempted to come to his rescue, and that would be one of his friends uh, that was in the car he was following. They were so we knew that he had told police he was following some friends home. It was a husband and wife, and he was going to their house to spend the evening uh, when he got stopped. They circled back um, when they saw Justin got stopped, and the woman got face to face with the cop. Had a very interesting conversation with uh, the arresting officer, which very well could come into play as Justin and his lawyers, as they say, they're going to fight this. Um, and I have a feeling this will come into play because what we found out is that the, uh, the couple came back and the woman who was in the, in the passenger seat um, walked over to the officer and had a conversation that was basically, you don't want to, why are you arresting Justin let's, Timberlake? Let's, yeah, that, that's, she yeah. said, you're going to arrest Justin Timberlake? That is a, do you know who she that's, he is? That's, that's playing the card right. to know who he is. And we know, of course, the officer did not know who Justin and was. And then she said, well, just, can we just drive him home we'll and forget about We'll get him home safely this. and you no. just forget about it. But she is in his face as they're talking. So he had a, an eyesight and he could smell if there was something the to smell. Could. The officer could as this woman is talking to him. Here's the twist. So they said, no, we are arresting Justin Timberlake. Um, and they took him away, but they allowed her to drive his rental car uh, back to her, to her home. So this person, we found out, was actually at the same hotel where Justin was before he left. Um, and as he admits, he had one martini, is what he told police. Well, the person, the woman who was in that passenger seat, she was at the hotel long before Justin was. Two hours before, and she was drinking. So the, what we're told is that Justin's lawyer, Ed Burke Jr., is going to raise this issue and say, this woman should not have been driving a car. And if the officers let her drive, how good were they at evaluating anything? And it just puts their credibility into question. That's going to be the argument. It, it is a really clever argument. I'm not sure at the end of the day it makes the difference between guilt or innocence for Justin. What it does is it puts a lot of pressure on authorities to potentially settle the case for a lesser charge or, or, or plea down to a much lesser charge than any sort of drunk driving offense. And that's really where Justin wants this thing to end anyways. So it really does play in their favor. Yep, and there's a hearing on Friday, and I believe um, they are going to raise this and other issues um, I doubt this case is going to get dismissed. I think Jason's right that if he can get a reckless driving out of this, it's a win for Justin. Right. I'm Dre Moore from East St. Louis, Illinois. And in my opinion, the cops were wrong for not evaluating a friend, letting her drive off, but not Justin Timberlake. Um, she put other people's lives in danger as well as her own life. And it was just a lose for the cops. They didn't do their job. That's, uh, that's what Justin's that's, people are going to say. That's the way you get a plea bargain. <laughs>